Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another CNC DIY video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Acorn CNC 12 software for use with a gantry CNC router that has two axis motors, one on either side of the gantry. And we're going to set it up so that we're going to have that gantry automatically home out. All the axes are going to automatically home out. But we're going to have the gantry automatically home out as well. And it will use two switches to home off of on the gantry so that it will automatically square the gantry to the rest of the machine. So let's check it out. I have a fresh install of CNC 12 Acorn 4.18 here on the screen. I just installed this. And so the very first thing you're going to want to do is go import your license file. And my license is here on the desktop. Let's just go ahead and import the license. Alrighty, so we got the pro license imported. The next thing I want to do is go start the Acorn wizard. And I've got a little G540 connected to this Acorn, so I'm going to click G540. And um, Go in and configure your turns ratios and all that kind of good stuff here. Fast, slow, jog rates. Um, I think you can handle that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, skip over the details on that. And what I want to do is go into the axis pairing screen, and I'm gonna pair the fourth axis motor with the first axis motor. And back here in homing and travel, I'm gonna leave this on wizard generated, and then I'm gonna pick home to switch because I want the wizard to automatically generate a program that's going to use switches to home off of. And we can come back later and uh, set the travel limits. And this is where you would set the direction. And which, which direction do you want the homing program to seek the switch? Right now it's set in the positive directions for all the axes, which is fine. I'm going to jump back to the axis pairing menu. And I'm going to change this selection right here to automatic axis squaring. And I know my axis here has a quarter of an inch difference between the two switches. And it's asking me how fast you want to move that axis, that paired gantry axis. And this is a dead band as if you need to make sure to move past your limit switches a little bit so that they don't flicker. Um, that's what that's asking for. If you have really good switches, you can leave this at zero. Alrighty, and one very important thing that we want to do here is click on the Axis Pairing and Homing Manual. This is a PDF that's available from our website. There's the URL. And uh, it explains a lot more than just uh, software pairing and auto squaring, but starting on page 7 is what we'll be covering, um, which is a how to software pair a gantry with two motors, one motor on each side using two switches, a master home switch and a slave switch. And definitely read this document in details and uh, follow the rules and follow the guidelines and it works every time if you configure it and wire it like the guide shows. Alrighty, the guide shows us that we need to use home all, so we're going to wire XYZ limit switches, including that uh, gantry master switch, all into the home all input. And then we're going to wire separately one switch called the home, slaved home input. So this is the slave home input switch. Um, all right, I'm just going to review these. Yes, I do need to reverse the direction of the motors to each other. That's what that's all about. Um, You'll notice that the fourth axis uh, just stays is the letter N and don't let it bother you that it says rotary because it's just going to completely ignore any settings here in the fourth axis because I told it to make the fourth axis like the first axis. So it will use the turns ratio that you put here, the steps per revolution you put here, max rate, everything in the fourth axis. It knows when I choose here in the fourth axis paired to the first axis to use uh, the fourth axis will use all the information contained right here. Um, I have an MPG so while I'm in here I'm going to configure my MPG. It's as simple as doing that and then all I got to do is hit right settings at CNC control and it will automatically create a PLC program for me um, So and it'll create all the home program. All I got to do is follow the instructions on the screen 
and power cycle my acorn board waiting for a heartbeat and I got a heartbeat boom click OK now let's check it out and see what I did when it when it powers up here it's asking me to press the reset button and if I hit cycle start right now it's gonna run the home program so here is the auto square homing program that was automatically created by the wizard and right now um, I should have a camera on it but my z-axis motor is moving and it's going to seek the switch uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and trip the switch okay the switch is tripped and the z-axis successfully homed out all right now it moves on to the y-axis y-axis now is moving i'm going to trip the switch there we go and the y-axis has homed now is where the fun begins it will pair the gantry so let's say the gantry is kind of square right now you eyeballed it up you uh you squared the gantry as close as you could using some marks on your machine and now the gantry both motors are moving in unison and it's moving the gantry towards both switches now in the instructions it says to offset so that it hits one switch before the other and the switch you want to offset closer to the gantry is the slave switch so right now I'm gonna trip the slave switch let me get the right switch here I'm gonna trip the slave switch here we go boom so that and now what it's doing is it's backing off to clear the slave switch which it just did and it will unpair the motors on the gantry and now it's just moving the master side until it hits the master switch so I'm gonna go ahead and trip the master switch and there it is clearing the master switch and now the motors moving a, that additional amount to get squared basically the offset difference distance between the two switches it repairs the gantry it sets home and it just takes a second here and blam your gantry is now squared and homed out ready to use it's that simple good luck with your projects and post your questions on the forum talk to you later bye bye